Walk for fearless travelers. What? Oh my god, it's breathtaking. You know, I've seen screenshots, but when you see it in person, it's a whole different view. What the shit? What the hell is this place? Look at all these books. I'm mean, looking at all the wear and tear of just, you know, time is done to this place. Let's read, please. The ancient open books are full of words you can- Oh, come on, but you know, you don't need to remind me I can't read. Uh-uh, trying to trespass, Harvey. What the? How? Who? What? I thought this was a lost civilization. Wait, maybe not. I correct myself. You two must be the heroes who could retrieve the coral this time, are you not? Uh -huh, I don't know about- You're gonna buy my do. <laughs> well, originally I thought it's not gonna be a shrine, it could possibly be shard-handed, so that they're only sending one person, right? So consider my expectation exceeded. Hope that by the end of this, you'll come me and that team as well. I'm sure the three of us will get on swimmingly. So what are we doing here anyways? Uh, question mark, question mark. I'm a researcher who's come to assist you. Call me Enjo. My main duty is to organize and translate clues regarding the trial to guide you on your path. Well, that's nice. We all had to rely on our own memory to figure out puzzles we haven't got or she knows the bullshit we've been all going through. Extra mundo. <laughs> well, you know, I think humor is a little dry after years. I mean, it would be quite a stretch to expect you to learn. Byaku, 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 byaku. Well, that's why you're the scholar and I'm the idiot who bongs things. Byaku Yakoku, the real name of the place of Enkonomiya. Another realm without light. Byaku Yakoku, the place with sins piled high in the ever night, only to be clients revealing their true colors. The sins, huh? But back to the trial, the people of Byaku Yakoku were saved by the great serpent, and thus reattained the light of the heaven. They all moved about the depths. So Enkonomiya was a civilization even before Orobashi found them, the child who took him in to be their god of this land. Without the golden burdle, there is no entry Enkonomiya, propping the secrets of its eternal night. If you really don't trust me, if you're to rough me up a bit, don't drag me back to the surface afterwards, thanks. Oh, you're direct, so I already like you, Enjo. Oh, another thing, I believe that the picture behind me matches Enkonomiya's topography. I suggest you study it carefully before heading out. Okay, will do, Enjo. Is it me, or does it look like the same sword Traveler used? Nah, I'm tripping, no. What? Don't tell me this is where the Traveler is from. Nah, no, my head is going a million miles per hour. What the heck is this? What the? Is it what you were looking for? Ah, uh, yeah, that's one. Why isn't it a coincidence? The book says that the craftsman Abiraku no Mikoto was honored to create the Chariot of the Sun to finally bring light to the everlasting night. Before this, people lived in a constant state of fear, for it was great hunters in the dark, the bad little bishops who were the original rulers of this land. The false rulers, huh? Yes. Pure primordial elemental creatures, wild spirits who never bent the knee to any god or worldly power. I believe that traditional Sangonomiya tale, the clash of dragons and the serpent, also referenced the Batmissile Bishop as a dragon hair. So that Missile Bishop was a dragon hair of the depths? Alright. And she goes on detail over the meeting place without so really caring if you can understand them or not. <laughs> so you noticed it too, didn't you, game? I was done with my own investigations here. I found what I was looking for. Though I'll go on ahead to wait for you. Does it say anything about Paimon, a traveler, about Gnosis or something here? It's just a Noji guy, did he run out by himself? What the fuck? See you on the other side, the sucker? These are coral reefs, aren't they? I'm really trying to understand the art. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, where the heck is Enjo? Where the fuck are we going? How more crazier does this place get? Who made these <laughs> stairs and all anyways? <laughs> this is like an elevator into that. So what if when we go to Sumeru, Paimon and the trial get separated? We know Sumeru is a land of knowledge where the quest of knowledge is never ending and Paimon is a completely different entity. Just think about a scenario like this, right? We suddenly dock into Sumeru, everyone knows about the esteemed traveler, want to know and get to know more about him or her. And then Paimon gets a little separated from us and someone else finds or captures Paimon. And then we go into two different character arcs. One where the traveler will actually open her goddamn mouth and we're trying to find Paimon. And then we find Paimon with the actual god of Sumeru. How many regions has it been? Mondstadt, Lirwa, Inazuma. Isn't it high time gears start shifting? We go into some more character arcs. I mean, right now the traveler is just an embodiment of whatever the fuck people tell around him. Like, she's got a soul, don't get me wrong. But we as players need to get more invested. So we need more stakes. And if you've seen the Tevas storyline preview, you already know what Dainsley says about the truth of the world and our sibling about what he's planning. Like Genshin has all these gears, in the high time? They start moving to somewhere? Well, Angie, didn't you think you were a little too quick on your feet? Ah, uh, come down, that's hurtful, dog. Though I suppose it's a literary researcher bouncing through place happily is a rare one. Yeah, well, come down, I didn't deceive you early, did I? You can hold me to a sword point or hit me at me. <laughs> Once you're done with that, I like you to trust me. If you don't, 
don't know if they're gonna enter a Dionysian Mikoji. Are you type enjoy gonna be in love or something? Where did he find about this Paimon? Now the Paimon's gonna do that. What do you think? Hang on, I'm rolling out my sleeves. Oh, wait, it's just a body. You do them, did I? Wait, couldn't we just walk around? Alright, never mind. Hey, come on. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, where? A bow? Alright. What the fuck? This looks so beautiful! What the fuck? And so, well, press this button. Maybe I should have talked to him beforehand. I don't know what I did, but... Are we gonna shift it to every night now? Oh my god! What the fuck? Ah! It's a ghost! That was engine on me. Eek! Biakio Coco, due to his properties of the nether realm, sometimes projects shadows of the past on remnant thoughts. I want to talk to him. But the stories have already ended. They weren't at the moment as captured retained. They can even interact with you. Such powerful emotion are called the sins of Tokoyong. Sins, huh? Thus, these unique ley line phenomena are known as sin chains or chains of Tokoyong. So my current form will be visible to future heroes as well, then. What in the- It's talking! Ah, uh, seems like our heroes are right. Hello there. My about to name is Aru. My original Biakio Coco name is Argos. I'm in charge of explain. This sounds like this feels Greek mythology. You know, kid, I know you're brain dead, but you're asking a ghost about butter crab. What in the? Uh, yeah, nani kore. And do you like some fresh fish salami? So yeah, but recently, well, some people come and phrase land for us about the sea surface, so we should be able to start shallow sea fishing. The variety of edible fish should increase too. But yeah, it's back on the topic. Tonius? Man, these names are getting complicated. The armed judges of the Nether Rebiaki Koku. That's who the Jibashili are. They possess tokens made out of special material that could cause the souls of Biaki Koko to reveal themselves. That that doesn't sound like an Inazuma name at all. Well, a lot of the symbol was a product of Archon War. Before that, Biaki Koko's history are filled with names like Abrax, Spartacus, No <laughs> This legit is Sparta in Greek. Is Kratos here? Gigantus and such. So is this human culture where divine envoys deny and fear too much. Huh? What do you say? Eh, uh, nothing. Just a bad habit of a bookworm. <laughs> Keep listening to Argos. And sun and moon. Who are you? So this is the one place Celestia had nothing over it. Celestia is very sus. We know this and how it pulls the strings. And if you know the story of Orobashi, it was also foretold by the book of... I think it was Sangha no Mia Chronicles. I'm not sure. That talks about how, you know, this was the fate bound to him by Celestia for running away during the Archon War. Celestia ticks me off and intrigues me more and more as we go down. The first row is Kruder Byaku and it's unintelligible. The second one is as follows. Here lies Partak as the righteous, known as Supara no Hiko. Beneath lies the litany of his crimes. Read them and remember our history. Supara no Hiko, the notorious outlaw, mastermind of great crimes and the root of unrest, and the name of Tokoyo Okami. May his sight be cut off, may his soul be crushed, may he be thrown into a deep prison now and forever. Wait, you still made a grave for him? What the? Here lies Piramunon no Mikoto. Mikoto! It's a guy we know from earlier, right? There was a mention of him somewhere. Of did he insist that there must be a world beyond our skies? Is he talking about Celestia or Tevad? I don't know. Nah, you guys just had a little brain juice. You're one to tell, Paimon. I know, this is the sin of deception, but the coral retrieval is something that concerns the survival of Hatasumi. Alright, you got me interested. Oh no! So anyways, check you out, Rangindi. You actually defeated the bad mission wizard all by yourself. Impressive. Most impressive. Nitame. Itai nani monoda. Ah, yes. You must be wondering how I got here. Bear with me a moment. Anything about where? Simply put, Enganomi is another world of sinners, yes. I am once a sinner. One has committed the sense of deception and betrayal. Wait, by myself let's get it. What are you trying to do? I came here to search for a certain book. The book contains records of things that happened in Biagia Coco. The chronicles are known to the people here as time before the sun and moon. Back then, no gods walked the earth and the whole land belonged to a single civilization. Was there ever such a time? In this precise land, that's why I wanted to find this book. That way, we, the Abyss Order, would have proof. Proof that the gods and Celestia came from the world- What?! 